What's that word for when you thought something could not get any worse but somehow it does? Meet the IT rule 2021 again. <laughs> The new proposed amendments may require intermediaries to take down content fact-checked by the Press Information Bureau as fake or false. On 17 January 2023, on what would have been the last day of the public consultation for Métis' proposed amendments to the IT Rule 2021, Métis significantly changed the scope of the proposed amendments and extended the deadline for its public consultation by a week. These new draft amendments and the way they are proposed are problematic for a whole host of reasons. Firstly. The ministry seeks to impose obligations on all types of intermediaries that may require them to take down or block access to social media content, digital media content, and any information that has been identified as fake or false. Any information that has been identified as fake or false by the Press Information Bureau or any other agency of the union government to which the news story relates. It attempts to put a fact check by PIB on par with orders to take content down, a process that is currently governed by Section 69A of the IT Act 2000 and the Information Technology Blocking Rules of 2009. But this park cannot be created by executive orders or rules framed by Métis, but instead they require parliamentary intervention. It is also inconsistent with the Supreme Court's ruling in Shreya Singhal vs Union of India, which upheld Section 69A on the basis of statutory safeguards which are absent in the proposed amendments. The proposed amendment also fails to define what false or fake mean, which could make the IT Rules 2021 even more prone to misuse. It also begs the question, can we trust what it terms as false? According to an investigation by Tapasya, a journalist who works with the Reporters Collective, certainly not. In her Twitter thread, Tapasya described at length how the PIB termed her media report as fake and failed to provide adequate basis for this fact check in RTI requests filed by her. All of this makes the IT rules prone to misuse and even more unconstitutional than they already are by severely impacting the right to freedom of expression and its derivative right to receive information and knowledge. There are also questions about the process. These revised amendments were issued on January 17th which was the final day to submit comments on a set of amendments pertaining to online gaming intermediaries, which themselves were issued on 2nd January. So you already had a short consultation time frame to begin with, which is just about two weeks, but this change also significantly expands the scope of stakeholders impacted, many of whom have even a shorter time frame to respond. The ad hoc or piecemeal introduction of amendments affects trust in the process. Many stakeholders would already have submitted their comments, and this comes at a time when the union government has introduced a new standard operating procedure of stating upfront that consultation responses will not be put out in the public domain. And also as we await a Digital India Bill for which we do not have a clear, specific, detailed vision being articulated. Like we said yesterday, some people take up running in the new year, some people take up proposing increasingly bad amendments to the IT Rule 2021. Head to our link in the bio for our in-depth legal analysis and details on how you can make your submissions. And while you're at it also, maybe join our Telegram group.